good evening children so after long back so welcome to akshara iit classes this is srinivas your maths faculty uh, before going to today's class uh, let us revise once again in our previous class we have discussed about that remainder right remainder type of problems by using congruency rule and fermat's rule right congruency rule and fermat's rule what are the rules here a power p is congruent to 1 mod p where p is the prime number where p is the prime number and here remainder is 1 correct yeah here p minus 1 very good the Fermat's theorem is a power p minus 1 is uh, congruent to 1 mod p where 1 is the remainder or else we can write in another way also that is a power p is congruent to a mod p. Fermat's theorem to find the remainder for very huge numbers. Okay, so from that synopsis, uh, we just left four problems. Let us complete the problems today. Yeah, <clears throat> so the first one: the digit in units place of 1446 whole to the power of 4n plus 3 whole to the power of 4n plus 3 but you should identify here units place digit in the entire whole number what is the square digit here 6 that means we can just check its power values that means 6 power 1 6 power 2 6 cube like that let us see that 6 power 1 how much 6 6 square 36 6 cube 216 if you observe that 6 power any number whether it is positive that means whether it is odd number or even number that value is end with the unit digit 6 simply 6 power n is equals to 6 where n value can be odd or even what are the unit digit here 6 6 power something it will end with the digit 6 only. Okay. So, very easy. If it is another one, like if the last digit of 1446, in the place of 6, if it is given 2 or 3, we will get different answers. Like 2 power 1 and with 2. We have already derived that formula. So 2 power 4n plus 1, 4n plus 2, 4n plus 3, and 4n plus 4. The, like that concepts we are. Okay. For that, uh, different ones are different answers, but unit place for 6 will give us always 6 only. Okay? Yeah. Now, let us go to the next problem. See here, the least number which when divided by 15, 27, 35, and 42. There are 4 numbers are given, 4 two digit numbers are given. We need to find the least number which when divided by all these numbers and leaves the remainder leaves the remainder 7 in each case Leave, uh, leaves the remainder 7 in each case ok yeah <clears throat> how to find it so usually we have discussed some examples like uh, if 3 schools A, B, C are having the interval of times for ringing the bell 30 minutes, 45 minutes, 60 minutes what is the least number that means what is the least time it has taken to ring together such type of problems what we have did yes we do lcm to identify the least value same way we need to find out the least number that number should be divides these four numbers and le leaves the remainder seven in each case leaves the remainder seven in each case so here also as a process we need to find the LCM first. What are the numbers we have? 15, 27, 35 and 42. 35 and 42. Let us find the LCM for this by using synthetic division. Okay. Yeah. See. Now, while you are observing 15, 27 and 42, these three numbers will come in three table. 
but 35 won't come. Okay, I am just using the prime number 3. Yeah, 3 table in 15, 5 times. 3 table in 27, how many times? Yes, exactly. 9 times 3 table, 35 won't come. You can write as it is 35. On 3 table, 42. 14 times. Okay. Now, just identify any common factors here. Yes, 5 and 35 having the common factors. Let us take 5 table. 5 ones, 5 table, 9 won't come as it is 9. 5 sevens, 35. And 5 table, 14 won't come as it is 14. Again, yes, 7 and 14 having the common factors. Am I right? Yeah, take 7. 9 won't come as it is 7 ones are 7, 7 twos. Now, while you are observing, we have reminds the numbers 1, 9, 1, 2. So, 1 we can forget. So, while you are checking about remaining two sums, are two numbers, 1 is 9 and second one is 2. 2 and 9 are co-primes, relatively prime numbers. That means, there is no common factor between them. So, we can directly take the values directly. Okay. Now, I am taking 2. But, while you are habituated to taking the prime numbers, don't take 9 directly. If you take 9 directly also, doesn't matter. There is no change in the value. But we are habituated to take prime numbers, no? Just take 3. So, 3 3s are 9. Again, 3 table, 3 ones. So, what is the LCM here? Yeah, 3 into 5 into 7, 2 and 3 into 3. Okay? Yeah. Now, 5 and 2. Just leave it for some time. Remaining 3 into 3 into 3, 27, 27 sevens. How much? 189, right? Yes, 189. And 5 to 10. 1890. So, this is the number which is exactly divisible by 15 table, 25 table, 35 and 42. This number will be exactly divisible by these four numbers. But according to the question, according to the question, it should leave the remainder 7. It should leave the remainder 7 in each case. Am I right? That means, for this answer, just add 7. It is 1090 plus 7 1897. Now, if you do division with 15 table, leaves the remainder 7. If you division with 27, leaves the remainder 7. Same way, in each case. Because, first of all, we found the number which is exactly divisible by 4 numbers. After finding this number, if you add 7 for that, if you divide with each number, in each case, we will get the remainder 7. Got it, children? Yes. So, please check once. Okay. Yeah, it's just an LCM. But before that, you need to understand the concept. Which number we should identify? Yes. That means we need to find the LCM of the given numbers. And last, we are going to add 7. Then only we will get the possibility of requirement. <laughs> right. Coming to this question. Reminder type of problems, I told you we are using congruent rules on Fermat theorem for finding the reminder, such type of questions. See here, you have to find the reminder 4333 whole to the power of 3 is divided by 9. Before that, let us find the reminder when it is divided by 9 by regular division method. Okay? So, 9 table, 9 4 is 36. 7 is reminder here. 43 minus 36 is 7. And 3 down. 9 8 is 72. 1 reminder. 3 down. 9 1 is 9. Reminder is 4. That means, this number we can express in a congruent method like 4,333 is congruent to 4 mod n. 
Am I right? That means when you divide this entire number with 9, we will get the remainder 4. That is the meaning of this congruence rule. Okay? Yeah. Now, we need, but actually we need to find the remainder for 4333 whole to the power of 3 cubes. Now, let us cubing on both sides. Like A is congruent to B mod N. We can power, we can apply the power both sides. That means A power M is congruent to B power M mod N. Okay? In such a way, we need 4333 whole to the power of 3. Now, what to do? Apply power 3 both sides. That means 4333 whole cube is congruent to 4 cube mod 9. But here, 4 cube value, 4 into 4 into 4, 64. But 64 is more than 9. 64 is more than 9. That means we have to find the 64 also by doing division in 9 table. Yeah, 9 7 63, remainder 1. That means the same way we have to write this 4333 whole cube is congruent to 1 mod 9. Because 4 cube value 64, 64 while we dividing with 9 leaves the remainder 1. Okay, no? So, for entire problem also leaves the remainder 1. Clear? Yeah, please note it children. Okay? Yeah. Let us go to the next problem. Okay, see here. The non-zero digit of the number 30 power 2720. Non-zero digit we want. Here not, we don't want a cap, that means here not needed exactly units place digit. Units place digit means here 0 power, that means in the place of 0 if some other number is presenting, we can directly identify the non-zero number because if it is 2, 2 power 2720, like 4, any 4 of the digit will be n, like 2, 4, next 8 or 16, 6, any one of them, am I right? But here, Unit space digit is 0, 0 power something, 0 power anything is 0, except 0 power 0, okay? 0 power 0 is not defined. 0 power anything is 0 only, okay? Right. Now, <coughs> except 0, what is another digit is here? Another digit is presenting here is 3. Now, let us find 3 power 2720. But before that, we have learned the concept of 3 rule, right? 3 power 4n plus 1, 3 power 4n plus 2 is end with the digit, 4n plus 3, 4n plus 4. Am I right? Because 3 is repeating for every sequence of completion of 4 terms. Okay, na? So 3 power 1 is end with the digit 3. This one. 9, this one 7, and this one is 1. Am I right? But 2720 is in the form of 4n plus 1, 4n plus 2, 4n plus 3, or 4n plus 4. We need to decide first. That means this number should be divisible by 4 because you have 4n plus 1, not 3n plus 1. Because 3 rule is repeating for every 4 terms. Am I right? Yeah. Now, let us divide 2000, exactly 0 will come because what is the 2 rule for us? That means 4 rule, last 2 digits of a number is 0s are multiples of 4. Here, last 2 digits are 20, 20 is multiple of 4, that means 4n plus 4. 4n plus 4 means end with the digit 1. 1 after right side, not left side, 1 after we will get 2720 zeros, zeros that many times. Okay, na? but here asking about non zero digit, that's why we are finding, uh, finding for 3, that is 1. Okay, yeah, our required answer is 1. Just check it. Yeah. 
Okay, children. Shall we go to the next topic? I think uh, yeah, four problems are completed from this synopsis. We need to discuss for synopsis three. Okay, now. Yeah, synopsis three is based on rational numbers. Okay, now. So, what are rational numbers? Rational numbers or thirds or irrational numbers. Okay. Yeah, rational numbers. The eighth class you all uh, you know in uh, state syllabus also, right? Rational numbers nothing but the numbers which are in the form of p by q. The numbers which can be written in the form of p by q, where p comma q belongs to integers. That means p value, q value. Can be taken from the set of integers, and q does not equals to zero. Why q does not equals to zero? For example, p value I am taking five. Five is a positive integer. Q value is zero. Five by zero is not defined. That's why the condition is given here. Q is not belongs to the set of integers from only the element zero. Except zero, q can be any integer. Whether it is a positive or negative, it doesn't matter. But q does not equals to zero. Okay, na? Then only the number can be existed. If it is zero, it is not defined. Okay. So the numbers which can be written in the form of p by q, where p and q are integers, q does not equals to zero. Such type of numbers are called rational numbers. Which numbers? Rational numbers, they are representing with the letter Q, capital Q. Why they are representing with the letter Q? Hmm? Yeah, because rational numbers having another name that is quotient numbers. Another name of rational numbers is quotient numbers. Sir, natural numbers are representing with letter N. Natural numbers start with the letter n. Integers are represent with the letter i or z. Okay, but rational numbers why are not representing with the letter r? They starting with r now, because we have another set of numbers starting with r. They are real numbers. That's why already we have the rational numbers. Another name that is quotient numbers. So we are using the letter q to represent the set of rational numbers. So Rational numbers q is equal to set of are in the form of p by q, where p comma q belongs to integers, and q does not equals to zero. You should write like this. Okay, na? Yeah. Now, let us see the positive rational numbers. Positive rational numbers or negative rational numbers. All are thinking that positive rational numbers means they are always in the form of plus symbols. Okay, but we can represent the positive rational numbers by using the negative symbol also. Let us see. Positive rational numbers simply how to understand the definition of positive rational numbers means the numerator and the denominator of a fraction of a rational number because rational number is in the form of p by q, right? P value, q value, both numerator and denominator. Both are having the same sign. They are called positive rational numbers. If p value, q value having different sign, they are called negative rational numbers. Okay, na? No? I said that both numerator p value, denominator q value, both of them having same sign. Like two by three minus two by minus five. Yes, minus two by minus five is also a rational number. You can represent like this also because both of them having the same sign, whether it is a positive or negative. Three by five, zero, one. Anything you can use. Zero also a rational number, right? Zero can we write the zero? Zero can we express in the form of p by q? Right? We told you according to the definition. What is the definition? Number must be in the form of p by q. Can we write zero in the form of p by q? Yes, we can write zero by one, zero by two, zero by three, anything. 
zero by anything is zero except zero by zero. Zero by zero not defined. Zero by any number, whether it is a positive or negative, always gives the zero only. So we can express zero in the form of p by q. Got it? Hmm. Right. So positive rational numbers means both the terms p and q, nothing but numerator and denominator having the same sign. They are called positive rational numbers. Numerator and denominator having different sign. We can call negative rationals. These are positive rational. Look. Negative rationals: minus one by three, two by minus five, three by four, minus five by six. These are all negative rational numbers only, because numerator and denominator both of them having different sign, opposite sign. Okay, na? Same sign means positive rational numbers, different sign means negative rational numbers. Clear? So rational numbers are nothing but numbers are in the form of p by q. P and Q belongs to integers. Q does not equals to zero. In the same way, we discussed about the positive rational numbers and negative rational numbers. Same sign for both numerator and denominator gives positives. Different sign means negative rational numbers. Okay, na? Yeah. Now, coming to the rational numbers. We need to discuss about the rational numbers decimal form. Rational numbers decimal form. Okay. Because if you write any number in the form of p by q, you are able to do divides. They will come in decimals. If it is not exactly divides, will come in decimal points. So, what is the decimal form of a rational number? Yeah. The decimal form of a rational number is either terminating decimal, either terminating, or non-terminating repeating decimal. Non-terminating repeating decimal. Okay, na? let us take one example for this. For example, I am taking that twenty-seven by five. Yes, it is a rational number because while you are observing that every integer also a rational number. One, two, three are also a rational numbers because two we can write two by one or four by two. Three also we can write three by one. Four we can write four by one. Right? All integers are rational numbers. Remember it. Okay, rational numbers are always in the form of p by q means one, two, three. They are also looking like p by q form only. They are also can be expressing in the form of p by q, but they are looking like just the integers, just having a numerator. But there is a denominator always one. Okay, whatever. So twenty-seven by five. Let us do division here. Yeah, because it is a p by q number. While you are taking that the decimal form, let us identify the decimal form for this. Yeah, five five is twenty five. Two remainder two is smaller than five. Put point and take zero. Four times twenty. So what is the decimal form of this number? Five point four. That means the remainder is getting zero. The quotient is terminated at four. Five point four. It stopped. Okay, na decimal value is stopped here. So decimal form of a rational number is five point four. Stopped means there is an end for the decimal value. So terminating. Terminating is nothing but ending. Okay, terminating value. But I am taking one more example like same twenty seven by seven. I have taken. Let us see this. Yeah, seven table. Seven four is twenty eight more. Seven three is twenty one. Six remainder. Take point and zero. Yeah. Seven eights are fifty six. Four remainder. Once you kept the point, you can take the zero for one time for every step. Okay. Yeah. 
four fives, sorry, seven fives, thirty five. Again, five remainder, zero. Seven sevens, forty nine. One remainder, again zero. You have to take. Again, one time seven ones are seven. Three remainder, again zero. Seven fours, twenty eight. Two remainder, again zero. Here. Seven, twos, fourteen. Six remainder. Again zero. Eight times. Fifty-six. Again four remainder. Four remainder means forty and was continuous. That means up to here again repeating. When we get the eight again, that means up to here. The pot is repeating from here. Again five seven one four two. Again eight five seven one four two. It is the decimal value is repeating continuously like this. Okay na. It is also in the form of p by q, but the decimal value is not terminating. But certain certain number period or certain period is repeating continuously. Eight eight five seven one four two again eight five seven one four two that will be repeats like that only. Okay na? Non terminating repeating decimals. That's why we have discussed that the decimal form of a rational number is. Terminating decimal. That means first example or second example. Non-terminating, non-repeating. Sorry, non-terminating and repeating decimal. That means it is not ending, but the decimal value is repeats like that. Got it? Check. It will come like that only. Continuous. clear so until then we have discussed about the uh, rational numbers another name quotient numbers represent with the letter q next positive rational numbers negative rational numbers and decimal form of a rational number also discussed what is the decimal form either terminating decimal or non terminating repeating decimal two ways okay na no? yeah next let us check for next one <coughs> what is that in case the terminating decimals and non terminating decimals without doing the actual division how can you identify the rational number whether it is terminating decimal or non terminating repeating decimal what i said identification identification of rational number In its decimal form, without doing the actual division, without doing the actual division. See here, I did the division for you to understand it is non-terminating and repeating decimal. For these two examples, I have taken. But without doing the regular division, can we identify that rational number is terminating decimal or non-terminating repeating decimal? Yes, we are having a chance to identify that. Okay na? No? Right. So let us see this. For example, twenty-five by thirty. Twenty-five by thirty. Am I right? Yeah. I am taking this rational number, whether it is terminating or non-terminating decimal. Yeah. We need to identify the prime factorization of the denominator. Prime five, uh, prime factorization of the denominator. Okay, let us see this. What is the denominator here? Thirty. Tell us prime factorization. Three into two into five. Am I right? Three twos, six six five is a thirty. So thirty we can express as a prime factorization three into two into five. Ah, uh, now here the trick is. in the denominator prime factorization contains only two only twos like 2 into 2 into 2 are only two are only twos are only fives we should have two or we should have five nothing else the prime factorization of a denominator should have 
the prime numbers 2 and 5 nothing else then the number is exactly terminated okay na? the rational number will be terminated but here 3 also presenting here 3 also presenting here and 3 table 25 is not cancelled 3 table is not cancelled 25 it is non terminating it is non terminating and repeating ok na? that means the denominator of a rational number should contain only the 2 and its powers and only the 5's we can decide the rational number will be terminating this null. Otherwise, if there is a presence of one more prime number, that prime number is cancelling with the numerator or not, we should check. If it is not exactly cancel the numerator, that rational number will be non-terminating, repeating this null. Okay, no? Like this, we can identify without doing the regular division. Okay, no? Now, let us see this example 1. 19 by 2. Is it terminating or not? Yes, exactly. Denominator having the number only 2. I said only 2 or only 5s. Are there combination? Are there combination means 2 into 5 also it can be. No problem. Only 2s, it is terminating decimal in the denominator. Are only 5s in the denominator also terminating? Are 2 into 5 combination also it is terminating? But except them, if you identify the presence of another prime number, another number, you have to decide the number will be the non-terminating repeating decimal. Okay, na? right. So, this is terminating 27 by 6. It is terminating or not terminating? Let us see. Denominator is 6. 6 can be expressed in 2 into 3. 2, 3 is a 6. But here 3 table exactly cancel the numerator. How many times? 9 times. That means 9 by 2. There is a presence of only the prime number 2. It is terminating decimal. This is also terminating. Terminating. Okay, na? Now, identify here. 26 by 7. Is it terminating decimal? The rational number 26 by 7 is terminating decimal. Very good. It is not terminating decimal. 7 is a prime number. Non terminating. Non terminating and repeating. Okay now. Denominator only presenting 7 and 7 table 26 won't come. So it is non terminating decimal. There is no chance of cancelling. Okay, children. So, once revise that. What is the decimal form of a rational number? There are two forms. One is terminating decimal or another one is non-terminating and repeating decimal. You have to understand that. What are the examples for terminating decimals or non-terminating decimals? I have given already. And without doing the actual division, are we able to identify the rational number whether it is terminating or non terminating? We need to do prime factorization for the denominator. Okay, now we need to identify first identify the prime factorization of the denominator. In the denominator, the prime factorization contains only the number 2 and 5 or 2s and 5s. Okay, prime factors 2 into 2 into 2 or 5 into 5 into 5 like that it is exactly divisible that means it is terminating decimal if one more number will be present that number is not cancellating or not divisible by the numerator is not divides the numerator then the number rational number is non terminating repeating decimal okay right yeah that's it for today children Thank you one and all. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow.